host Liam, and uh, it doesn't look like my co-host is here yet, but um, we've got a great show for you today. And in today's news, we've got Pug Mill, Homecoming Results, The Assembly, and Xanadu. This is JDTV News. Oh, oh boy. Hello, my name is Kyle, and I'll be your host today, Hero Salim, and this is JDTV News, go! Hey guys, we've got a great show for you today. I already said that. Well, now I have to. Uh, last weekend, the JDHS Art Club hosted the Pug Mill Party. We talked to Mrs. Ridgeway for more information. Um, Art Club has been working hard for three months, rallying public awareness and uh, selling pottery and standing in front of a 12 and a half foot by three and a half foot long mural that was donated to us by the restaurant Salt when they remodeled. And at the party this weekend, we sold that mural for $775. We also made almost $4,000 on Sunday alone um, selling bids and selling uh, the opportunity to take a place or a wild card in a Yankee swap. We were able to do that thanks to at least 15 fabulous local artists that donated their own artwork. Jim Fowler, M.K. McNaughton, uh, Rob Royce, Jay Crondall, and several of these artists actually paid full price for a ticket to come to the party. On a Wednesday, seven students were recognized for doing good deeds. A ceremony was held in the upstairs library during lunch. Students were nominated by teachers who noticed what they do in class, student activities, and for others. These students were Charity Anderson, Abigail Maloney, Selma Hoik, Natalie Johnson, jo Jose Lama, Jade Ruiz, and Zativa Sumner. Last Friday, there was a big homecoming assembly. Did you see it? I was literally sitting right next to you. Well, for those who missed it, we went and asked Miss McNamara and a few seniors about her first and their last homecoming. This year's homecoming, homecoming 2015. It was a blast, I can say that for sure. I think homecoming went really, really well this year. We had a lot of student participation. Um, all the classes from freshmen to seniors had tons of participation. Uh, the walls were awesome. Lots of creativity and uh, lots of hard work went into them. Um, the class advisors all uh, really organized students well and worked hard to make sure that um, students were um, doing all that they could to help promote the positive spirit of homecoming. I think it was a lot more spirited this year with the walls as opposed to the murals. So you definitely get more of that homecoming feel when you walk through the walls as opposed to just staring at a 2D board of wood. So definitely better this year. Especially since the staff did a skit and there was a streaker. Pretty proud of the whole school and how fun it was. It's gonna, I'm definitely gonna remember it throughout my years as an adult. I'm gonna miss it. Probably, in all honesty, my highlight of high school for me. Um, the homecoming assembly was the best assembly I've ever been to. I think that homecoming should be like this every year. It was really fun. If there's anything that can be said about this year's homecoming, it's that it was a slam dunk. Well, I think it's time we got to know my co-host a little better, Kyle. Oh, do we have to? Yep, let's see Kyle's bio. Hello, my name is Kyle Shorts, and welcome to my bio. I'm an 18-year-old senior at Juno Douglas High School. I've lived here in Juno my entire life. My hobbies mostly revolve around theater, as I'm in the school plays, as well as being on the school's DDF, or Drama Debate and Forensics, team. I also like video production, and am in the school's video club. If you watch JDTV, then you will have seen me appearing on several shows. Also, my bio, along with the Thanksgiving schedule, this is JDTV News. My favorite season is winter, and during that season, I like to spend a lot of my time skiing. I'm also interested in science and history. Well, that's, a, that's about all. So, thank you for watching. Goodbye. Well, that was just lovely. Moving on, we've got some sports for you. Yay, you like sports, right? Calvin, tell us about sports. 
Well, not great news. Boys basketball played with Silla last weekend for homecoming with mixed results. On Friday, JDHS took the cake, although there wasn't really a cake, with a score of 56 to 49. However, on Saturday, Wasilla took the metaphorical cake back, beating us out by six points with a score of 43 to 49. In related news, JDHS girls basketball played Thunder Mountain for homecoming and lost both games. I was unfortunately unable to find the results for the games, the official results, so if any viewer has them, uh, feel free to let us know at news at jdhsvideo.org. Uh, as far as I know, there was no cake at either game still. Well, that's the sporty sports stuff that happened last week. Now on to you, Kyle. Well, that was just exhilarating. Thanks, Calvin. Uh, moving on, let's go to the calendar. Tonight at 8 p.m., hockey goes against Houston in the Treadwell Arena. Tomorrow at 7 p.m., hockey goes against Houston again. Rising Seniors class selection, which is for the current juniors, will be next Wednesday at 5 p.m. Next Thursday, there will be another Rising Seniors class selection at 5. Also, Thursday is going to be the opening night of Xanadu, which will be showing at 7 p.m. in our JDHS auditorium. On Friday the 30th, boys basketball will be playing against Ketchikan, and Xanadu is going to be showing again at 7 p.m. at the JDHS auditorium. Then, JDHS hockey versus Monroe at 8 to 9.30 at Treadwell. Then on Saturday the 31st, boys basketball will be again playing against Ketchikan, and Xanadu will be showing again at 2 p.m. and 7 p.m., and this will be the last showing. The ho then, hockey is playing against Monroe again, Treadwell Arena, from 7 to 8.30. That's it for next week's calendar. Coming up now is the weather. How's it looking out there, Fubao? Hello, my name is Flo. Today it is Friday. The high is 30, 40 feet and low of is 39 and raining. Saturday is 43 and low is 39 raining. Sunday is the high is 41 and low is 34 and and snowing. Thank you for turning and back and ideas. Thanks, Fubao. Now, before we end the show, we've got something very exciting for you all. That's right. This is the biggest thing of 2015 to date. It certainly is. And this thing is called... Xanadu! That's right. We've got the exclusive inside look at the upcoming musical. It's seriously like the coolest thing ever. So, fasten your seatbelts and let's roll. Today we're going to talk about the JDH musical. This winter, Juno Duckles High School is producing the musical Xanadu. It's a total spoof making fun of the 1980s. And uh, if you're looking for a lot of depth and meaning in this musical, it's just not there. Basic premise of the plot is you've got the nine Greek muses who, if you know anything about Greek mythology, they're the ones that give inspiration to all the artists. And they come down to help this artist because he's about to kill himself because he's so frustrated with his art. Well, what I like best about the play so far is the fact that everyone has a great attitude, they have, um, are willing to learn and do some fun things that um, sometimes you don't get to do in musicals, but you can feel kind of silly and self-conscious. But everybody's got a great attitude about it and seems to be having lots of fun. So it's the last weekend in January. We actually opened that last Thursday in January, 7 p.m., Friday, 7 p.m. There's two shows on Saturday, 2 p.m. and 7 p.m. And tickets will be available from the cast members. You can buy tickets um, from the activities office when we get closer to the time. And you can also get tickets from Hearthside Books and from the Jack. And tickets for students will be $10. Well, you should definitely look forward to that. If you want to buy a ticket, you can get one at Hearthside Books, online at jahc.org, or from the activities office, or from the best spot, cast members. Cough, cough me. Or at the door. However, if you choose to buy one at the door, they will be more expensive. And, as all good things must come to an end, this, sh this too shall see its close. Yes, but like the legacy of Apollo, we'll live online at our website, jjhsvideo.org, and our YouTube channel. 
Or, like the hounds of the river sticks, you can follow us on Twitter at JDHS Video. Tune in next week for more JDTV news.